Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play No More Heroes. Last episode we did some side stuff, and in this episode we're going to do another ranked battle. So yeah, we need to give our money to Sylvia again. <sighs> Here you go Sylvia. Of course you're going to buy some new clothes or make new parties. <sighs> I miss my money, but there's not much we can do about it. So let's go back to our motel and let's see what Sylvia has to say to us this time. Hopefully she's in a good mood today. That would be kind of nice because I don't really like her uh, when she's all that mad. Oh well, <laughs> we'll see. Travis, the next rank is fourth. Who is it? Come to think of it, it doesn't really matter, does it? I am sending you a ticket for a show. Look nice. Let's go together. Number four will be there. A show? Wait, this is a date, right? Something like that. Why else would I be getting an oil rub? Wh what? What did you say? Someone's rubbing you down? I'll see you later. Wow, she really seems in the mood, don't you think? Huh? Uh huh, uh huh, uh <laughs> huh. Okay, anyway, let's go outside. But before we do that, I believe I actually bought a video in the last episode so let's watch that for another wrestling move video volume 4 yay power bomb okay sounds promising <laughs> anyway let's get out of here oh another letter Dear Travis, you know what that is? It's a platinum ticket reserved seating. Go and give the performance of your life. You can do this. Love, love, Sylvia. Yeah, she's definitely in the mood. <laughs> oh well. Rank battle four is open. So yeah, let's go. And I believe we actually need to go to the subway station yet again I believe yeah yeah it's not really it might seem repetitive but they changed it up just a little bit to not make it all that repetitive oh well um, I'm sorry for not posting anything yesterday but I was actually doing a co-op commentary with a friend of mine that actually started up his new project yeah actually he actually does a Let's play of Pokemon Heart Gold, but blind. And with me as the guest commentator. And oh my god, I almost, <laughs> I almost uh, drove right in a wall. So yeah, that's actually pretty fun. And that's why I didn't post anything yesterday. I'm sorry. But we're here, and let's see who the next assassin is. Wow, that's one hell of a name actually a kind of cool name to be honest and oh so we're okay we're fighting right here well that's okay that's a little bit different than last time because last time we actually had to fight inside the subway train oh my god I'm getting ambushed already these gut and they of course they have have guns why not well the guy will pain a bit so don't worry dude shut up let's first take care of these guys here Oh, no, never mind, never mind. I'm going to get this guy over here because he's driving me insane. And he just he just begs to die. So, I'll grant him the wish and die. Okay, great. And this one, thank you. So, are there any more? No, that's great. Before you move on, there's actually a chest right here, so don't forget that. Okay. And I'm kind of wondering why there are still no people in here. You know, that's actually kind of weird. That's one thing that kind of bothers me in this game because you have a huge overworld... But there, there aren't really all, oh my god, there aren't really all that many people in it. Well, sometimes when you walk or drive with your bike, you sometimes drive right over a guy and ah! that's uh, a reaction of him. But they, they don't really have a, um, a mind of their own. They just walk around aimlessly. And in places like these where you expect a lot of people, there aren't any people to be seen. And prob it's probably a design choice. I'm, I'm pretty sure that we could have pulled it off easily. Maybe j maybe just 2D instead of 3D. 
But, I don't know, maybe they just didn't want to do it. And it doesn't really matter all that much because it is a game about assassinating people and not really... It's not really a GTA type of game, although it does kind of look like it and might have been a better idea in the long run, but oh well. It's just weird to me that there are assassins everywhere and no normal people to be seen. Well, except... Oh my god! He has a submachine gun. Well, except for the stores, of course, like Area 51. Oh my god, I need to recharge. Uh, oh, it's great that this weapon actually recharges kind of quickly, so that's a bonus. But, uh, uh, for example, the high school, you know? You only see assassins when you go there. You might think there are students in there, but you don't really see them. It's kind of weird that if there are students in there, that, that they just keep attacking me. But the problem is, I did see some of those students, but you see, you only see them during cutscenes. So why not in the game? I'm, I'm pretty confident that the Wii could pull it off. Come on, man. P the PlayStation 2 ha has GTA games with people in it. So why can't the Wii do that? Well, maybe it has something to do with the budget of this game. It wasn't all that, all that big, I guess. But oh well, it's not really something I should complain about, but I have to talk about something, you know. Oh, come on, thank you. And these guys really annoy the fuck out of me, but luckily we got a power up, so... Oh, okay, we're already done. Well, that's great. So we have to go with the with the subway train again? That's alright, I suppose. So don't forget the treasure chest, and let's go on the train. <laughs> do not hold the doors, no, no, no. We don't do that. Actually, kind of reminds me of a um, of a episode of uh, Jackass, I believe, because so in in some uh, of these subway trains, you actually have a little sticker with a rabbit on it that has his hand stuck between the <laughs> between the uh, door. Well, and they um, I believe they did that in Jackass as well, just for funs. But uh, now you actually need to remove your nunchuck because there's a little mini game coming up. Oh, oh, there goes my nunchuck. I'll I'll grab it uh, off the floor in a second. <laughs> Let's first do this mini game. Pure White Giants Glastonbury. Okay, that's one of the anime uh, Travis keeps talking about. Okay, this one. I, I believe it's actually an homage to older older games. Um, I'm not really familiar. I believe this is actually what a shooter was back in the day. Before uh, the first person shooter, of course. Uh, back in the day you had um, space shooters like this. So yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun, hopefully. Uh, this can be kind of tricky, but I do believe you have infinite continues and that's something I didn't really know when I did the practice run. Well, I I forgot. Let's let's just put it that way because I keep forgetting that. You don't if you die, you don't have to start over. You just have um, infinite continues, but for whatever reason I forgot that. Uh, you also have your swords. With your sword you can uh, destroy the bullets and you have your own bullets. And when your special meter is full, you can use a special attack like this. So let's see, um, how do you activate that? Um, wait, oh. With A, you activate it with A. So that's great, and I died. What the hell? But luckily you have three lives, and after those lives are gone, the game will ask you if you want to continue, and then you can just continue. So there's no way, there, there is a way that you can exit the game, but that's by pressing B. And I, I for whatever reason, I always did that, so I thought... Um, you always have to start over, but you don't have to. You can just continue. Oh my god! Let's see. Destroy the guy again. As you can see, I'm already down to my last uh, last life, so that's shitty. I'm not sure why they put this in the game. Probably um, like they said in the in the first episode. Oh my god! They, oh uh, yeah. Okay. They talked about that the um, the the children of this day and age. Are kind of lazy. They don't have the patience. They all. They, oh my God! They play e games that are far too easy. Maybe this is a huge parody of that, just to uh, screw those little kids over by let them, letting them play this game, which is kind of, kind of a little bit more difficult than the uh, the main game, to be honest. But oh well. Kind of depends on uh, on what games you're good at, I suppose. Come, oh my God! Why do I keep screwing up? I'm sorry, guys. Okay, the up this gets an upgrade, so that's great. So are we getting... Oh! Oh my god. They're throwing missiles. Well, uh, that's not great. Uh, I'm glad I don't have to do this all uh, again and again and again after dying. Because uh, I would have to speed or speed up or cut out a lot of things. And 
Well, I'm kind of lazy, you know, so. <laughs> oh my god. We're actually getting close to the boss, I believe. So hopefully we can finish this off. Come on. Oh my god. Are we there? Oh my god. Warning. This is actually a weird looking boss, to be honest. We're actually going to fight against a... Oh! Whoa, 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 watch out. Th against a cross, yeah, right there. Kind of weird, but... Oh, uh, oh. oh what? no, 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 no. Okay, use the special. Okay, this will work. Oh my god, oh my god, oh, nice. Those beams will one hit KO you, so be uh, be aware of that. Uh, the strategy for this boss is to just keep spamming your missiles. I believe that actually does damage, as opposed to the um, sword. And if you get a power up or special a special attack, be sure to use it. I'm not sure if it even deals damage, but uh, it doesn't hurt. It uh, doesn't hurt with trying, you know. And I believe if you use the special attack, you're invincible for a while, or at least all the bullets will disappear from the screen, so you'll have an easier time hitting the target. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just look at this. Holy god. Okay, do it again. And let's get rid of this guy. Does it actually deal damage? I'm not sure. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> it's actually a very easy one. You get the hang of it and know when to use the special attack. And he's dead. So we did it! Awesome! And now I need to grab my nunchuck again. <laughs> okay, here it is. Um, yeah, AAA, I don't care. Uh, and my nunchuck is back. Great. Hopefully, we have time left for the boss. And what's also kind of weird is that we're the only one on the subway train. Who is riding or who is manning this um, subway train anyway? Because I'm the only one in it. So what's the... I, I, di I didn't even pay for a ticket. So, so the guy that drives this train also doesn't get paid. Well, not that I'm aware of. So why would you even... Uh, I'm, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Why am I questioning Gwen game logic? That's not something you should do. And oh, I get stuck at a freaking pillar. That's oh my god, my phone is ringing. More Sylvia time. Come on, you can do this. You're almost to the next ranked fight. Winners proceed to the fourth rank. Losers will also proceed to the eighth circle of hell. But you and I, Travis. We are going to paradise together. Take me by the hand and show me a world of drama and passion. One that I have never known before. But be sure to hit the bathroom first. <laughs> as soon as you are ready, come for me. Don't leave me waiting. Today, little Sylvia has done herself up quite well, I must say. My skin is so silky and smooth. Quote, charisma makeup artist from Japan gave me like the most incredible color gradation ever. I really hate how she says, dum ducky, dum ducky, like some stupid pinball. And will you look at that? Today you are going to win with 2,000% certainty. One hot night together, you and me coming right up. A promise. Yep, this is a confirmation. Sylvia's horny in this episode. <laughs> anyway, grab this treasure chest and go to the bathroom. Hopefully we have enough time to do the boss. Because I'm looking at the time and there are some cutscenes. So I'm not sure if we're able to do it. But it doesn't really matter if it's going to be a slightly longer episode. So I'll risk it. I don't want to make too many episodes if it, if it isn't necessary. You know, five minutes might be enough. Not sure if this boss can take a while depending on uh, how I perform. So hopefully I'll perform well. I always hope I'll perform well, but we'll see. 
Oh, oh, another treasure chest. Don't forget this one. Great. Uh, let's just uh, try to go as fast uh, as quickly as possible. Uh, dude, I want to grab that wrestling thing. Thank you. Well, I'm not. Bo I'm not bothering reading this because I don't have the time. Normally, when I have the time, I read this, but I don't care. We just get a new wrestling move, and let's get out of here. You are late, Anson. Hurry, the show's about to start. What's with all the excitement? It is not every day you get to watch a big fight from VIP seats. Of course I am excited, but I am most excited being with you. Whoa, you're serious. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh shit, oh shit. I'm packing heat, baby. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, and all killers out there, welcome to Harvey Novodarsky's magic freak show of the century. It'll be a killer night, so let's get started. It's showtime! <laughs> oh my! Quiet, quiet, please! What do you know? It's already time for the last program. But you know, today is a special day. And you, ladies and gentlemen, are lucky. So lucky that you might even get lucky. Now, one of you lucky people will be chosen to be up here with me. Who's it gonna be? The lucky person is... You! Well, Travis. This is your lucky night. There's not even an audience. They want me. We're the only ones here. You gotta be kidding. Go get him, Tiger. Come on, no need to be shy. Congratulations, you nasty little boy. Tell the audience your name. Travis Touchdown. It's a good name, don't you think? It's a fine name indeed. You have your parents to thank for that. My parents are dead. Oops, touchy subject. A question that should not be touched upon. That's okay. The fuck? Really, it is. There, there, don't let it bother you. Hold on to your hopes and don't give up, my nasty little boy. Thanks. I'll remember that. So you came to enjoy the show? Damn right I did. I was really looking forward to this. It's the last show, right? Last show? Did I hear you right? Oh, you heard me right. Harvey, you're gonna die tonight. Right here, by my hand. Let's close the curtains. I hope you aren't being serious. That would be a pity. We still have the main event to unveil. Playtime is over. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! On to the grand finale! Now this is entertainment! Yeah! <laughs> it's killing time! I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!